Welcome back to earnings season. I'm covering all the earnings charts of the companies that have the best track record. So be sure to tune in here all during earnings season for tons of charts. But if you're following the options trades, my colleague Dave Bartosiak will be covering those over on Zach's Live Trader on YouTube. And now you can see all of his advice and what he says about the options trades for free. So go over to Zach's Live Trader and be sure to check him out every week because he's going to be covering a lot of these same companies, but on the options side. And then I'm going to bring the earnings misses and beats on the regular chart. So let's get right to it. This week, it's kind of light. There's only 21 companies reporting. There's a couple big names, though, and some of them have interesting charts. So let's dive right into it. First one is one you probably might have heard of if you get a paycheck uh, through them, with this, which is Paychex. They do the payroll services and all of that, but they have this great track record. They haven't missed in five years. But as you can see a little bit from the chart, about the middle of 2016, shares started to stall a bit, and they've been in this narrow range, but perhaps a, another beat here might uh, bust them out to new highs. So this is one I'm going to be watching. Then we're going to have one of the big names that everybody for sure knows, PepsiCo. They also have a perfect record, as you can see. Shares did stall out in mid or uh, beginning of 2015 there, but then they've been moving higher. They're down off the highs here, so this is another one that an, another earnings beat and maybe good guidance could get these shares moving again. Then the prettiest chart of this week has to be Constellation Brands. They have the two misses, but way back in 2013 and 2014, and then otherwise it's been you know off to the races and these new highs. So this is looking really good. Constellation Brands is the wine and spirits. You know them from Corona and Mondavi, various other really well-known brands. So apparently uh, wine and spirits boozing is, is real popular right now. And then I have a new name that I've put up here. It's a little bit of a cheater. It's Yum China. They haven't missed since they were spun off in 2016 from Yum Brands. So this is only the Chinese companies. So they've beaten three quarters in a row. You can see shares are a little bit crazy there, but they're back up towards those, those uh, all-time highs, I guess you can say. And another beat here might propel them higher. So this is a play on China. They own the KFCs and the um, Pizza Hut, and they also will have the rights to roll out Taco Bell over in China, which is apparently starting soon. So KFC is the biggest uh, fast food brand of all in China. So this is one to watch to kind of know how the Chinese consumer is doing. And then finally, we're going to wrap it up with, I think this is a new one to the charts that I bring you, Helen of Troy. I'm not sure I've covered them in the past. They have a pretty good record, as you can see here, at least through uh, 2014. They haven't missed in eight quarters, but those shares are, you know, really in this narrow range here. Uh, Helen of Troy does a lot of personal products like hair dryers and um, curling irons, things like that. They also do brawn for the water purification and um, the OXO kind of cooking equipment. So they do a lot of personal products uh, that you would buy, uh, at, like a Target or Walmart, a Bed Bath & Beyond, those kinds of stores, also on Amazon. But uh, that area has been kind of not in favor. So you can see that from the chart, but they have a good track record. So if you're playing that earnings, Mr. Beat, this is one to watch. We're just getting started this week with earnings, so um, there's going to be a lot more to come. And remember, just because a company has beat every quarter, as some of the ones have this week, doesn't mean it will into the future, but I like the odds there because it's not easy to do to beat every quarter. So keep an eye on the ones that have the good track records if you're playing the earnings miss or beat. And remember, if you're playing those options trades, Check in with Zach's Live Trader over on YouTube because Dave Bartosiak has all the flavor, everything going on with those options trades over there. So be sure to tune in.